Okay, everybody asks about Jerry's crayfish habitat. Well, we're now a year and a half of progress. We brought Abigail and Kephis a long, long time ago. And we've updated the habitat and the crayfish have been breeding since. And we also have shrimp. Shrimp in there. They're breeding little crayfish, larger crayfish. Everywhere you look, crayfish. See? I want to let you know that they know you're there. See? So, this is the crayfish habitat. They are breeding. They have been breeding since we brought home Kephas and Abigail. That's Holy Rock. Lava Rock, Mopani Wood, and Malaysian Mangrove. It's a very busy, busy, busy little habitat. There's a one mint, rosy minnow in there that just zoomed by. Some Malaysian trumpet snails. There's duckweed up there. I'm trying not to move too fast. There's your wet cloud minnows. They've been there for quite a while now. They don't. We we don't know if they're breeding or not. You know, we don't see them. You know, the crayfish do pretty good. We're considering bringing home some Crebensis cichlids in here. This is the top. There you can see the duckweed. I have to keep bringing duckweed in here because the crayfish do eat duckweed and most of the foods I grind up I have a mixture that I put together and I grind it up in a pepper shaker to feed the crayfish. So this duckweed, it does grow, it does grow pretty good. But everybody wants to talk about filtering. And they say, you know, hey Jerry man, you know, that, that's pretty busy, you got a lot of crayfish in there. What the heck, you know, one inch of fish Per gallon and this is a 40 gallon breeder you know that this is pretty busy look at all these little heads looking at me over here everywhere you look okay well now you're gonna see why there it is that's a three tray filter connected to a three tray filter okay there's your hose there's your connection this is filled with lava rock. Three trays of lava rock. See, so that's the filter that pushes the water back into the aquarium. This filter has all kinds of substrate in it to break down large pieces. It also has three trays in it. You know, from this filter, the water from the aquarium enters here and then goes through that hose in here and then back into the aquarium running over the Mopani wood. So we have a lot of filtration going on here. It takes a lot of time. I would not advise to anybody to breed crayfish in a home. Our home is very limited in size. And it does not matter, no matter what you read online or talk to anybody, it does not matter the size of the aquarium, how many rocks or wood or anything else, crayfish will continue to multiply. Once they breed and you keep and maintain things right, they're going to keep breeding so it doesn't matter. This is what's going to happen. You're going to keep seeing crayfish of different sizes. Okay, that's a, that's a, a large a mano shrimp under there, upside down, a large female. 
See, so that's the word from the wise. Listen to my experience. Don't listen to other people. They're going to tell you all kinds of stuff. It's not true. I'm going to have two years doing these crayfish, and they've been breeding the whole time. See, it's very difficult to see the little ones because we're lighted. We don't have a, we don't have we don't keep it you know too bright. It's bright, but because of the wood we have, okay, you see, it's it's really not too bright. They don't they don't really like light, but we keep it on. And we've tried plants, we've tried Java fern, we've tried jungle veil. They dig it up, they eat it, they chew up the roots, and it floats. That's it. The only thing that's going to stay in there for a little while is if you keep on getting duckweed, you keep adding it. See, so we'll see. I just wanted to update everybody, let them know. Uh, this is the crayfish habitat, about a year and a half since we started it. Have a good day. Come back for more.